The Institute for Music of the Fondazione Giorgio Cini promotes scientific research and the spread of knowledge in various fields of Western musical culture, focusing on compositional processes, theory and practice of musical interpretation, and the audiovisual experience. It seeks to acquire, conserve, safeguard and develop 20th and 21st century archives, especially those of leading figures in the world of music, dance and audiovisual production, including Alfredo Casella, Gino Gorini, Gianfrancesco Malepiero, Giacomo Manzoni, Orel Milos, Ottorino Respighi, Nino Rota, Olga Raj, Egida Sartori, Alberto Bruni Tedeschi and Camillo Togni. These collections represent a mine of information for researchers into Italian music of the 20th century. The exhibition A Wave of Ultramodern Music, Venice and Beyond, was inaugurated on March 22, 2013, as part of a wide-ranging initiative dedicated to the Institute's first director, Giovanni Morelli. Six showcases illustrate the international music scene in Venice with documents from the various music collections held by the Foundation. The Guild of New Music has the honour of presenting to Italians a prestigious and unique work in ten performances to be given in Rome, Naples, Florence, Venice, Padua, Turin and Milan with the composer himself conducting. It merits the utmost attention, for this is without doubt one of the most audacious events in modern music history, comparable to the advent of Cubism in painting or of the theory of relativity in science. This was how Alfredo Casella introduced the series of Italian concerts featuring Piero Luner, which he himself organized in March and April 1924. The Venetian performance took place on April the 3rd. First-rate musicians were engaged for the tour, many of whom had been involved in previous European and American performances of the work. All the concerts also featured the Concerto for String Quartet by Casella, began on November the 28th, 1923, and completed in the nick of time on March the 16th, 1924. The tour was widely reported in music journals throughout Europe, thanks largely to the efforts of Casella, and the ensuing debates on Schoenberg deeply affected the future of composition and the aesthetics of music in Italy. In July 1932, the art and literary critic Emilio Cecchi asked Gianfrancesco Malipiero to write the music for the film Acciaio, Steel, based on a story by Luigi Pirandello, being made by the German director Walter Ruttmann. Differences of opinion between director and composer soon came to a head. Taking exception to what he saw as interference, the composer asserted his authority over the music to be used in the film. Soon after the film's release, on April 1, 1933, Malipiero issued a work of his own entitled Steel, Seven Symphonic Expressions. As he declared polemically, the music arises from the dramatic expression of the subject itself, not from that of photography. Premiered in December 1933, the score was published five years later with the title Seven Inventions for Orchestra. In the 1940s, Venice was a leading centre for the creation and production of music as well as for music theory. The 8th Venice Biennale, 1942, featured works of European composers never previously heard in Italy, and world premieres of Italian composers, including Luigi Cortese's cycle of five songs for voice and piano, on poems by Rilke, in the Italian translation by Vincenzo Errante, and Gino Gorini's cello sonata in three movements. 
The two works were performed in the same concert by the soprano Susanna Danko and the cellist Massimo Amfiteatrov, with the composers at the piano. Some 30 letters, written between 1922 and 1960, document the relationship between Gianfrancesco Malipiero and Igor Stravinsky. In 1945, Malipiero published a résumé of memories, concerts and lectures concerning the composer of the Rite of Spring. In 1951, the eagerly awaited world premiere of The Rake's Progress in Venice prompted Malipiero to write a new article about the most disconcerting of today's composers. Dance was given a prominent place in the Biennale Music Festival during the direction of Ferdinando Ballo from 1947 to 1952. In 1948, the ballet company of the Teatro dell'Opera, Rome, gave the European premiere of Stravinsky's Orpheus and the world premieres of Marcia by Luigi Dalla Piccola and La Nymphe de Diane by Aurel Milos. The versatile Milos also produced the Italian premiere of Les Malheurs d'Orphée by Darius Mio, staged at La Fenice in Venice. In 1959, Nino Rota composed the music for Monicelli's film The Great War, joint winner of the 20th International Venice Film Festival. The story had been divided up into episodes accompanied by folk songs or war songs, which Rota had made into a sophisticated collage of heterogeneous materials and styles. the 20th International Festival of Contemporary Music that same autumn, the artistic director, Mario Labroca, commissioned three single-act operas, Aleop by Luciano Berio, Il Circo Max by Gino Negri, and Diagramma Circolare by Alberto Bruni Tedeschi. For his libretto, Bruni Tedeschi asked the poet and novelist Gian Piero Bona to produce a story about the life of workers against the social and economic background of the 20th century. The documents show that the work had a very troubled gestation. Camillo Togni discovered the poetry of Georg Trakel in the immediate post-war years. After composing Helian for soprano and piano in 1955, he began to take an interest in Trakel's youthful output, and especially the twelve poems of Gesang zur Nacht. In 1962, Togni was commissioned to compose a work for chamber orchestra for that year's Venice Biennale. He wanted to write a cycle of six pieces for solo contralto, male speaking chorus and orchestra, but he had to agree to use the ensemble required to perform works by Firmino Sifonia and Aldo Clementi in the same concert. The four settings of poems from Trakl's Gesang zur Nacht were completed on March 8, 1962, and the world premiere with the contralto Carla Henius and the Melos Ensemble was very well received by the critics. The scene of the baptism comes as the climax of Francis Ford Coppola's film The Godfather with the church ceremony interspersed with the chain of vendettas taking place simultaneously elsewhere. The music for the scene as we know it is a montage of compositions by Nino Rota and two famous organ pieces by Johann Sebastian Bach. Rota arrived at this solution in notes he made on the final screenplay, and the result was the work of the sound editor Peter Zinner. 
The score, registered by Paramount Pictures using its famous music division, is actually Nino Rota's original composition, while the music program documents a phase prior to the final product, featuring Rota's waltz and Michael Corleone themes, and Bach's Passacaglia in C minor and Prelude in D.